and reflect it poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that, but at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. There was nothing here, no choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Stanley just sat around twiddling, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. 